Welcome back to Pinar Crossover. My name is JR. We're still here with Mr. Marky Mark, Jamil, and Ryan. Here we're just discussing more NBA topics here, but Mr. Mark Mark, there's a very, very special night that happened a few nights ago. What happened? Well, it was not only Halloween, <laughs> but as a trick or treat, we got Derrick Rose coming out of uh, coming out of nowhere and dropping 50. Mm -hmm. What are your thoughts so far? What are your thoughts on that game? If you watch or if you saw the you know game highlights, his reaction, what are your thoughts? Lay it out. Um, oh, you go first. Yeah, <laughs> you're like pretty much like it's like you time traveled. Like, is it 2011 when you look at the box score? You didn't see the game, but when you look at your feed, it's all, all about Derrick Rose and that motion behind that performance. You can tell, as a basketball fan, you got to feel good for the, for the guy. And he well-deserved, too. Yeah, I mean, it just got me in my feels, you know. <laughs> he hasn't scored, what, 40 points since, yeah, 2011. Mm -hmm. He's been coming up from bare injuries. At one point, when he got traded to Utah, he got waived. So two every, days after. Yeah, so days. everyone thought his career was over. Oh, yeah. Next thing you know, Jimmy Butler doesn't play. And now he gets 50 points. So we'll see. It's I'm one excited. of those next next man up situation where you yeah. know a lot of Kyle Lowry just says you know if you watch Raptor games, but yeah, Derrick Rose he stepped up and he scored a lot of points. He looked like his old self, uh, 2011 MVP uh, Derrick Rose, but you know a little bit slightly older. Mm -hmm. You could yeah, tell he's yeah. slightly slower, but he still has that explosive move coming from the uh, yeah, top yeah, of the key, sure. explosive sure. inside the paint and going for the layups. Yeah. I mean, and it was just amazing. I know. A lot of people, if you're a true basketball fan and you're yeah. true, you know, you follow basketball way back when, you know, like I, I understand grown men would cry about yeah. this game because this is, this is a special moment in the NBA. I know everybody's been tweeting about Dwayne Wade, LeBron James even spoke about it. This is a very special moment for not us just basketball fans, but seeing what the Rose has been going through from the injury, trades, and now to this point where I think he's back. And he's back. He's he's a starter. He yeah, should yeah. be a starter. Deserves that. Uh, in his situation, he, he he could easily gave up. You know, not be motivated. But he went. A lot of players have he, done that. Yeah. Yeah. He, he was on a mission this year, and he said on an interview with Dennis Scott, he said he wants that six man of the year. So like that's one stepping stone for him to play well this year, and he proved it. Fifty points. Like who who saw that coming? It's a, it's a humble. I mean, he, mm. you can see how humble he is and how hardworking he is. I mean, he came off from being a rookie of the year to be almost the face of the league, winning the youngest MVP. Yeah. And to him coming down and say that, that says a lot about his character mm -hmm. in terms yeah. of, this guy is not just about the money, he didn't care about the money, he, he yeah, just wants to play basketball. Yeah. 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 He, he, was, play he basketball. was the face of the league, man. Yeah. I, 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 want, I had his shoes, and there yeah. goes. <laughs> yeah. 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 Adidas, yeah. Adidas was shoes. taking over the whole league, man. He was the next AI, hitting, like in yeah. terms of like, hitting buzzer beaters against LeBron in the playoffs. Mm -hmm. like, he was a man. Yeah. Those were the good days, but I, it's, it's, it's really nice to see him play this well. I, I hope Hopefully he keeps it up and like you said, wins that six man award at least, get that award award and then you know, whatever get that speech and I'll I'll start yeah. crying oh, again. That speech. Yeah. Oh my goodness, it'll be, it'll be all <laughs> emotional for all us grown men. Even like he's so humble, even if he's just a runner up or like a consideration for six man, he's yeah. he'll take that, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like we're happy for the guy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think it was a good basketball. I think it, it might be the story of the year if, at the end of the season. If I think so that far, could yeah. be the story of the season. Mm -hmm. Just the fact that this guy's gone through so many injuries. He's gone through so many teams. Like, you know, Chicago gave up on him. New York gave up on Cleveland him. Cleveland gave up on him. Cleveland <laughs> gave up on him one year. Not even one year, maybe like two months. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And, and it's tough, I mean, to be someone who's up in there and... and to have some of a career that he had early on, he was prime. Yeah. He was at his prime when his injury came to. It wasn't like he was at um, you know, at the end of his career. Mm -hmm. So he was robbed of his prime. I think that tears that he had shows you know of of the things that he lost that he had to sacrifice to be where he is. For sure, mm -hmm. it shows a lot of emotion and it's, it shows that Derrick Rose is something like everybody loves Derrick Rose. Not even just the Timberwolves fans, but also the players around the league. Like even the Bulls. Uh tweeted like mm -hmm. a just like a rose and like a heart emoji saying yeah. like congrats like yeah. you did it i was like that you are still our guy even yeah, though exactly. we you know treated yeah. you away yeah. <laughs> back then yeah. um but let's stick with minnesota uh i know there's some still rumors like that there was one reason Derek rose went off for 50 points uh jemmy butler sat out mm -hmm. was rested what do you guys think about that whole situation that i know this whole summer we've been hearing things about i want to get traded Cat, you can't guard me. Yeah. Jimmy, uh, Andrew Wiggins, oh, you can't guard man. me. You can't, you can't do anything. Yeah. Booze when they had the announcer starters, but he sat out for the first time and he's trying to force a trade. What do you guys think of that, the whole situation? Honestly, I think the person to blame is like the management. I think if, if a guy made it clear he doesn't want to be there and you don't trade him before the season starts, you create a mess. Like you're pretty much, the trade stock for him is pretty low because uh, NBA management knows 
that he's gonna leave regardless. So why sh why should I pay top dollar for this guy? Mm -hmm. So it's 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 a bit of a messy situation down in Mini. Yeah, I mean the fact that they had an offer for four first round picks and they still declined that. <laughs> oh, their future is not looking bright. And yeah. I don't know with the way Cad and Wiggins is playing right now. I don't know. Not looking too bright. It's yeah. tough. I mean. Uh, it's because there's two sides to it. There's management side that's saying, oh, yeah, let's take advantage of that. And there's also Tibbs, who's in charge of the player. <laughs> uh, yeah. And for Tibbs, if he wants to keep his job, he wants he has to win now. Mm -hmm. Like, it affects yeah. his, you know, his yeah. win, win lose record is affected by who he brings in to replace Jimmy. So for him, he's like, I'm just not going to take the first round pick. Who does not affect me at all? I'm, I care about the player and I get back. Yeah. So that's, it's, there's this internal conflict between management and, uh, and Tibbs because he makes that decision on who, get, like, who he gets back from Jimmy. I think that's a concern for any NBA organization to have a coach and a manager at the same time. Yeah. Uh, you know, having like hands-on approach. It shouldn't even happen. Hands-on approach happen on players. I, I don't think Doc is still he uh, was, he was, Yeah, he was and he was fired and see, from one and of And see what sure. happened with that situation. Yeah. I think they're, they're, doing, they're doing all right, but yeah. I think it could be better. But mm -hmm. the Minnesota t situation, I mean, Tom Tibbs having that whole hands-on thing, it's, yeah. it's just horrible. They're having memes on them, like the Chicago Wolves, I mean. The Timberwolves. The Timberwolves. The Timberwolves. <laughs> like, it rarely yeah. happens. Go, I mean, call, go call Kurt Heinrich and sign him up, man. Like, yeah. bring him back. Mike Dunleavy. Oh, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> it's they shouldn't even be doing that in the organization. I mean, it happened with uh, Jeff and then Sam and Dundee when he was in Detroit. That's mm. why when he was trying to build through Drummond, he was the one that's, he was GM and the coach, and look what happened. It kind of exploded. Yeah. That's why he was... Um, and the same thing with Doc Rivers. That's why the whole Clippers was exploded because he tried to bring in Boston players uh, and like you know, baby uh, Glenn, baby Davis, and, and it's just not a. <laughs> it's not a Paul Pierce he brought when he was close yeah, to retirement. Yeah. It's just not. The fact that he brought his own son and then traded him away. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it's just so much politics that comes into it. The, yeah. I mean, where do you guys think Jimmy will be landing? Like, who, if you got to pick one team, who who would be the best team that can Ooh, get, get Jimmy? I don't know. Like, you want to say he's gonna go to a contender, but it's just hard to to mm -hmm. say. Like, I what? would love for him to go to Houston right now because they need him. Yeah. <laughs> they need I, him. Chris I, Paul's like, what? He's is he still suspended? I don't know. He's coming yeah. soon. Yeah. Yeah. It's but James Harden's injured, and then. I just don't trust Melo anymore. Mm -hmm. yeah. He's kind of washed up, so yeah. sadly. Sadly. Yeah, sadly. sadly. Have someone that can compete with the Warriors if you add Jimmy. And I, yeah. I read an article that Philly is kind of hot yeah. in pursuit of yeah. Jimmy. But I think Tibbs is like, I want Ben Simmons. I think. Oh, well, okay, yeah. 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 Conversations end. Yeah. <laughs> this is a management. The asking yeah. price is too high, man. Yeah. Uh, speaking of asking prices, um, the Toronto Raptors. Well, it doesn't really ask the price of well, whatever. Anyways, <laughs> Toronto Raptors are at the best start of the season. We'll give our, our thoughts about their whole season. This start so far and how Kawhi Leonard has been playing after this break, guys. Stay tuned. <laughs>